Hi all. In our last tutorial, we worked on NS localized string which would be picked from a localizable file. In this tutorial, we will work on extensions in Swift. So I am defining a string extension. So for that I have created a folder structure reusable control extension and I am adding a new file which would be a Swift file and it would be a string extension file. So I will add string extension for this. So this is a string extension. So for this string extension, I have already written down the code. So we will use like this extension and string and this is our so we have initially we what we are doing is we are writing this NS localized string with every string we are using. So instead of this, now what we can do is we can simply remove this text and add username and dot localized. So that way we can use this localization now. So what we can do is we can also add a new string variable in this file, which would be let's say password. So I'm adding a new string variable password over here and just repeating the same. I'm just removing the D to just check like it is exactly picked from this file or not. So also, yeah, I'm defining in the German file the same value. So now we have password what we can do is we can just simply select localized and see it is already uh, replicated over here so when we run it on device we will see that that this is picked up from the localizable file so what we can do is we can add a d again save again and run again and see that this is d is completed now Thanks, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos on SwiftUI and skilled learning.